Prime Subaru Outback 2.5 XT. Today I'm going to do a quick video on how to put in the flex fuel conversion kit in. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to locate a fuel injector port. This is your yellow piece right down there. It goes into the engine block. Disconnect it and you'll look and see what kind of um, bottom or top slot this is. This is a uh, bottom slot. The other fuel injector port is this other yellow piece. Let's see if we can get in there. It's that other yellow one right down there. Can't get away from my finger right there. And then you'll come over here to the other side. And this one's a little bit trickier. So I've already loosened this stuff up so that we can get in here quick and show you. Pull do the bolt on this, pull it out of the way, put my bolt in a safe spot, just kind of pop this up out of the way. All right, so you can see the other fuel injector port is right there, and then the other one is hidden behind here, and it's, shoot, let's try and go from this angle. It's right, whoop, there it is, that other piece is right there, you can kind of see it down in there. I have to pull a couple of these hoses off and they just go pull on and off. So then back to this side, this has, I put some Velcro on here to secure it down. I hooked up the ground to my battery right there. This has four sets of clips that go onto your fuel injector. You know, if you have a six cylinder, it'll, you'll have six, one for each cylinder. So this piece will go onto your fuel injector. You need to switch hands, tuck this in. A little bit more difficult doing this one-handed and filming at the same time but it just clips right on. You'll know when you get it because it makes a nice positive click. There it is, that one's in. And now I take the other clip and I just plug those two together, which I probably won't be able to do one hand. Or maybe I can't. These two go in just like that, push them together so you get that nice positive click, and there it is. Honestly, this is really easy to do. You just need to get make sure you identify the top or bottom slot. There's one, so you can't quite see it, two, and then three, and then four of the fuel injectors. Honestly, all I needed to do, all the tools I needed to do this was my scissors to clip off the zip ties, a screwdriver flathead to undo my um, hose that goes off the air filter cleaner, and then um, my socket for the battery, and my socket here, and I don't know where I set that, I just, oh, here it is. It's right here, so these, are literally all the tools that I needed to install my flex fuel conversion kit. Super simple, super easy. Okay, thank you.